Let me tell you the truth. In the business of kingdom advance, number is an advantage. Yes, sir, it is. It is. It is. When God wants to help a man, in addition to giving you the gift of himself, he puts upon the heart of men those who are touched, touched enough to stand with you, touched enough to partner with you, touched enough to pour out their resources, their time, their energy. The first spiritual resource you need, we have to hurry, is called divine presence. I have to stop. The next spiritual resource that you need is called supernatural power. You need power. <laughs> you need power. My goodness, you need power. Genuine power. Genuine power. Apostolic power. Genuine power for signs and wonders. Genuine power to command the supernatural. Genuine power that makes your words like the words of God. Genuine power that produces results. Genuine power that opens gates. Genuine power that closes other gates. Many, many people are sincere, but they've not stayed with God to carry genuine power. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed, anointed, even the word needed to be anointed, even the word needed to be anointed. The word without the anointing was impotent. How God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power and with power and with power and with power. What is power? The force that compels compliance. The force that compels compliance. If there is one thing I've learned about Satan is that he's a stubborn spirit. It doesn't matter what God has said. Once power has not been introduced, you are joking. God said, I am, I am the head and not the tail. That statement does not scare spirits. But let power come in. Power. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. It says it is through the greatness of thy power that the enemies will submit themselves. Psalm 66 and verse 3. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. You are not the first person to come from a family with charms and yokes. We all came from there. When you see it not work, it's not because it cannot work. It was stopped. Power. 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 My God. I once watched a video of an elephant that was tied to an aircraft. They wanted to test the level of strength it had. And they tied the elephant to an aircraft just to see if it could pull it. And that thing looked like it was joking until it started pushing that aircraft. That aircraft went in total obedience. Say power. power. The end of any argument, ba, is when power comes. Genuine power. Genuine power. Genuine power. Man of God, you need power. You have a message, but tarry ye until ye be endued not with another salmon, be endued with power. Yes, sir. You shall receive power. I taught you already, but you shall receive power. Meaning you can reject it. Many have rejected it. And they told themselves, I'm not a preacher. Power is not for preachers. It is a spiritual resource that empowers you for the journey. You shall receive power. So when he says, give us this day our daily bread, the first spiritual resource you need to continue to remain, to advance. When you combine presence and power, my God, you have something on your life. You have something on your life. You have something on your life. And I'm praying for someone. In the name of Jesus, the grace to stay. You know the secret of spiritual power? There are many factors. But let me tell you the truth. One authentic pathway to spiritual power is to engage the mystery of prayer with fasting. Authentic spiritual power. Prayer with fasting. In the presence of light, you have found a combo. Prayer with fast not prayer and fasting if you pray and don't fast well that's fine but if you fast and don't pray you only took yourself to a point of hunger 
many people say they are fasting and just wake up 10 minutes they peel the orange they will take by 6 by 5 45 and that's all they are doing and by six on the dot without one second added they start to suck the orange and well the mercy of god is there but you didn't fast no there is a fast commanded i tell you that produces power genuine power that you lock yourself and pray not pray and browse not pray and call not pray and 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 watch part movie part this thing you shut down and pray for the purpose of edification no prayer point when others are snoring their destiny you are generating energy making contact with genuine power Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all someone shout power please be seated give us this day our daily bread I'm showing you the mystery of sufficiency and can I tell you the order of your pursuit matters your spiritual pursuit must be the greatest and the highest in terms of the energy you give your pursuit there are others like you'll be learning but in order of priority when you want to embark on any spiritual journey ministry life business your assignment please in all you're getting if you must get daily bread, you must invest in the things that keep divine presence. You must invest in the things that keep divine power. Don't just say it arrived yesterday. No. Give us this day. That means do this day that which brings the daily bread. Give us this day. Um, for those of you who have interacted with the North, when 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 the muslims are having their fast many times some of the mosques and the people they you know someone just donates so that they can cook for some of the children who cannot help themselves how many of seen have, have seen that kind of thing and once it's time they all arrange their plates and then they serve them and they go and by the next day they wash their plates again sometimes you see the children hungry and they are just waiting impatiently until it's time they come this day to receive this day if you don't do the things daily that keep the presence daily that keep the power daily you will wake up like samson and find out that there's no power again assumption is costly in this journey of destiny you only pray when you are going for a conference or you only pray study the bible like a, a, the dear sister who gave her testimony you see honestly admitting that before the school of ministry she would not even open her bible she would not even pray obtain grace to love the Lord more than your necessary food secure divine presence secure divine presence through the depth of your devotion for spiritual things obtain grace to invest in the place of prayer obtain grace to invest in the place of the word until you contact genuine power genuine power every time I have the opportunity to watch videos of the patriarchs in modern history sometimes i just find myself tears just running i may not be crying but sometimes i say lord have mercy on us where did we miss this thing i mean this guy is guy these men carried power they really carried power if you've not watched enough of their videos you may think people are exaggerating but when god grants you access to rare materials i remember watching one of these men of god i think it was a a allen they brought someone who had polio and it was as if he was stretching cloth that you are going to iron. He just stretched that guy and told him to stand up. And that was it. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Number two, the 
the second level of resources you must press to have is called intellectual resources write it down please write it down and let's make progress the resources of knowledge the resources of wisdom the resources of understanding intellectual resources intellectual resources proverbs chapter 24 please from verse 3 and 4 proverbs 24 3 and 4 intellectual resources give us this day our daily bread through wisdom my bible says amplified please amplified gives us a broader perspective as to that scripture through skillful and godly wisdom it says is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on sound and good foundation next verse it says by knowledge shall its chambers of every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches the bible says there is treasure and oil to be desired in the dwelling of the wise there is treasure every time you find wisdom there are resources that follow it not just mighty works there is treasure and there is oil to be desired in the house of the wise that was why when the woman the wife of the sons of the prophet came and met the prophet and said i have nothing except the prophet said you said your husband was a prophet no if he was a prophet it means that he had encountered the wisdom of god if there's no treasure check there is oil there has to be both treasure and oil in the house of the wise that even if treasure finishes when you check there's still oil it's impossible to have wisdom and not find treasure and oil to be desired one of the things that was depleted in the foolish virgins was oil oil and they said go to them that sell there are wise people who know how to if the ones who carried extra oil are called wise then the ones who sell them are called what you see oil and treasure to be desired let me tell you ladies and gentlemen when the bible says give us this day our daily bread please look up you know that destiny actualization like i have taught you is knowledge dependent is wisdom dependent is understanding dependent there are forces ladies and gentlemen the bible calls them exceeding great and precious promises it says that by them you might be partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust if you do not know the way that leads to the city you see the bible says the labor of the fool weary at every one of them every one of the ministry every one of the company every individual because he knoweth not how to get to the city hmm. job chapter 38 and verse 33 niv here's what god told job niv please do you know the laws of the heavens and can you set up God's dominion using those laws over the earth do you know the laws I think NLT says about the same thing do you know the laws KJV says the ordinances of heaven yes I like NLT let's read NLT one to go do you know the laws of the universe he says can you use them to regulate the earth regulate the earth can you use them and tame life like an animal can you use these spiritual laws and define your realities there are laws that govern influence there are laws that govern abundance there are laws that control leadership there are laws that control growth 
There are laws that control sustainability of anything. Which one do you know and which one do you not know? These are the resources. When you say, give us this day our daily bread, you are saying, make available to my life, oh God, the kind of knowledge I need to be empowered for the journey. The wisdom I need to be empowered for the journey. Some of you, you're coming for koinonia. Is God answering this prayer? You have found a place of your daily bread where you receive knowledge 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 that equips you wisdom that empowers you are we together yes sir yes sir there is a way to get results you have to master the art of producing results there is a way to get results there are many women here if we say we want to cook for everyone here there are certain women who single-handedly they can cook for a thousand people and they will not make mistakes. It's called mastery. Mastery. Some of us may be able to cook for one or two people, maybe ourselves and any other person who is there. But once you say cook for a crowd, the dynamics change. There are some of you who can drive, but you can't drive a truck. You've been driving for 10 years, but if we give you a truck, you may die. What is the difference? The dynamics. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, 1 Corinthians 8 and verse 2. The Bible says that that man knoweth not as he ought to know. There is a standard in the spirit that controls any dimension of result you want. Please listen carefully. Those who have excelled in life and destiny are those who by mercy and grace in honor to their hunger have found an oasis of knowledge and they have plunged into it to their advantage. Knowledge. Knowledge. In ignorance, you are already a defeated believer. Even if Satan does not exist. In ignorance, you are already a defeated believer. My people are destroyed. Hosea 4 and verse 6. For the lack of knowledge. It says, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven. And canst thou establish the dominion upon the earth thereof. Do you understand the principles by which the heavens regulate itself? In fact, let's read verse 34 and 35. Same Job 38. I like what he says. Can you shut the clouds and make it rain? Can you shout to the clouds? KJV says, do you know the mystery that you will command the clouds and you will be drenched with abundance of water? Can you lift up your voice that there is a way you can stand as a believer, not divination, on the strength of a certain kind of knowledge, creation, elemental forces can support you. It was Job that said, you will be delivered. Or is it Proverbs now? That you will be delivered in six things. Among them, he said, the scourging tongues of men. Who would have known that the speakings of men have life? That a man can, pro can program trouble and leave you. And the trouble can be waiting there to it. believers are ignorant people this is the reason why we need abundance of light in fact do you know the inheritance of the saints is light what the bible calls inheritance is not car it's not houses it's light access to a requisite body of knowledge that upgrades you to the god class the zoe life that we have received you see activating it is knowledge dependent the degree to which you access light quality light high level spiritual illumination Ephesians 4 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their minds the assignment of the God of this world is not even to afflict your health is to blind your mind so that you will not see John 1 5 and the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not John chapter 1 and verse 6 there was a man sent from God his name was John his assignment verse 7 the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light of the light Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14, 15 and 16. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill and cannot be hid. It says neither do men light a candle. If the candle does not have light, you can throw it anywhere. But the moment light comes on it, there is a position that candle should not be again. 
it is placed on a candlestick and it gives light to all who are in the house the first way to make your light so shine is to be enlightened when you carry the light then you can make it shine Isaiah 60 and verse 1 amplified arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you it says rise to a new light 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 someone shout light listen are you saying that for most people if you ask them why they are not making progress they will say if somebody can just help me with money when they say I need help what they mean is transport and there's nothing wrong but I'm showing you that these are the richer spiritual resources when he says give us this day our daily bread you see that he's not just talking of a loaf of bread for you will eat of that bread and go to the toilet hours later on and that will be the end of it but there is one you can have it lasts it stays and it calls every other thing after its kind divine presence power back it up with wisdom back it up with knowledge I have taught you here listen to my teachings I have taught you so many things Re get my message the ministry of light the journey beyond salvation the ministry of light I show you a journey beyond salvation that beyond the initial salvation there is a journey there is a journey John 17 and verse 3 this is life eternal it says that they may know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent light I remain a student of light he say if we walk in the light if we walk in the light if you choose to walk in the light there are things that happens to your life as he is in the light if we walk in the light please contend for light get materials you heard the testimony of the, the gentleman who came here ignorant bankrupt of light do you know that their situation would have remained the way it is till today the value of the prophetic word was that it came to a life that was hungry for light it wasn't only them who heard that prophetic word they heard the word just like we did but the word did not benefit them not mixed with faith I hope you know that faith is a child of light faith is a child of revelation genuine Bible faith is not a mechanical thing in fact it is a natural product of light light Bible faith is a product of light Bible faith a product of light they heard the word just like we did if it be thou bid me come and he said come the faith comes from light comes from knowledge are we together now if I give you an instruction and I say stand up and come and meet me now because the word has come you can act on it that becomes faith but if you get up and you are coming it's called madness not faith give us this day ladies and gentlemen your daily bread is the divine presence you can secure the power of the Holy Spirit you can secure your daily bread is also your access to high level spiritual illumination high level spiritual illumination high level spiritual illumination now when it has to do with knowledge there are two dimensions of it let me just touch on it quickly there is spiritual knowledge and then there is knowledge of the laws of the universe you need both of them there is spiritual knowledge there is knowledge of the laws of the universe many believers do you know when you went to school especially for most who are science-based and who studied courses around social science psychology most of the things you went to learn are principles that relate to a number of laws that govern the universe if it's a study of the human body to make drugs and everything they operate on laws are we together spiritual laws are important but I want you to know that there are laws that regulate life there are laws for instance the law of honor the law of honor is not just a spiritual law alone the law of honor is a law that works for men animals anything at all the reward system of the kingdom for instance there are laws that govern leadership 
there are laws that govern influence these are not necessarily spiritual laws even though they are God's laws most people do not take out time to study these laws the law of mental transformation this is a law that the realities in your life come in honor to the quality of your belief systems I told you remember I taught you that your belief system is your contribution to your failure or your success your belief system is how you contributed to your becoming a failure or how you contributed to becoming a success so every time you fail or succeed ultimately give glory to God but the dynamics is that a part of your contribution was your belief system if you fail check well demons partnered with your belief system failure partnered with your belief system like a womb your belief system came to empower failure hallelujah listen let me challenge everyone in the name of jesus christ go for knowledge there are too many teachings go for knowledge if you take the time to listen to the teachings that have come just from january till now i'm telling you it's enough to open doors do i recap on the teachings just take a message like lessons from an overcomer sit with that message it will change your life are we together seasons of abundance deliverance from captivity the ministry of light i mean i can name them many believers are lazy god has distilled knowledge he's taken sense from nonsense and he's brought it all it takes is for you to calm down and study i'm reminded of the testimony of a dear brother during i think that was a u.s conference or so very humbling testimony right from jail incarcerated under the influence of drugs and his friend gave him the teachings and this guy started listening methodically and in one year or thereabout, came out of jail, rehabilitated, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, owned properties. Come on now. The transforming power of light. Look at the other brother now. He listened to a message, came, received a prophetic word. He had that brother all the while in Dubai. Like your destiny helper has been all the while in Abuja. But waiting for your knowledge to trigger things in the spirit. You see, the realm of the spirit works based on a call and response system. A call and response system. There has to be a call before there is a response. And you don't call by just speaking. You call. Your mind also has a voice. It can call things. The Bible says even your mind is a prayer warrior. And that God can answer the request that your mindset gives. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ask or think. Two ways to pray. By verbalizing it. And by the power, the excellency of your mentality, your mindset is a prayer warrior. There are things it can call to your life. Job said, the thing that I feared most has come upon me. I attracted failure by my fear, the abundance that I had. What if I lose this one day? What if I lose this one day? I hope you're learning Koinonia. So when he says our daily bread, the mystery of sufficiency, happens for you when you are able to acquire the requisite knowledge wisdom knowledge understanding and i taught you the difference already that knowledge talks about a coordinated gathering of useful information but it is not profitable on its own are we together now understanding means the comprehension of those laws understanding the working dynamics how to combine knowledge so that it profits you wisdom is the grace and the fortitude to put knowledge that has been understood to work so that it produces knowledge understanding wisdom when you act on what you do not understand you only recycle seasons of pain it is wisdom then understanding I mean knowledge then understanding then wisdom the third resource very quickly give us this day who is learning you are seeing what you need for the journey when you find people who are running and they don't seem to stop these are the forces working behind the scenes the presence force the power force the knowledge wisdom understanding force number four are you ready the third resource that you need or number three now human resources human resources 
human resources my god human resources human resources first chronicles chapter 12 and verse 1 first chronicles chapter 12 and verse 1 human resources now these are they that came to david to ziklag while he was yet well he yet kept himself close because of saul the son of kish read with me koinonia the last sentence and they were among the mighty men helpers of the war helpers of the war you are as fortunate as the men who believe you you are as fortunate as the men who are willing to stand with you until God's vision upon your life comes to fruition you are as fortunate when you are praying and saying Lord show me mercy and favor don't just pray for money the money is in the hands of men the money is not in the bank the bank only keeps it for men you are as fortunate I tell you sincerely as the men not the amount in your account the men that are willing willing to stand with you willing to stand with you willing to drive that vision in ancient times the excellency of the might of a king was first men before the treasures men men in the multitude of men is a king's honor the lord gave the word but great great was the company of them that published it 